Hello, my name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS expert with Go Engineer. This quick tip video shows how to turn off some of the dialog boxes that appear when you're working with assemblies. One of the most annoying asks you to save read-only documents, which is of course impossible. One setting to control this is easily accessed in System Options. On the External References page, simply make sure the don't prompt to save read-only referenced documents checkbox is checked. And if that involved a change in the setting, then make sure you click OK at the bottom. Unfortunately, this is not sufficient to eliminate that behavior. The other setting is contained in the Windows Registry, and to access that, I'll need to close SOLIDWORKS. And then on the Windows Start menu, I'll type in RegEdit. And if you're new to the registry, then please let me make you aware there are some risks involved in this. If you mess up settings, um, it can re render your computer inoperable. So what you'll want to do is, before you make any changes, go to the File menu and Export and save the settings somewhere handy, like your desktop. That way you can revert back to a good copy. The setting we need to change is in the current user list of keys and in the software folder. Then I'll scroll down and find the SOLIDWORKS folder. And under the SOLIDWORKS folder, the SOLIDWORKS version that I want to change the setting for. In this case, I'll change the setting for SOLIDWORKS 2014. Under SOLIDWORKS 2014, I'll go to the Collab folder. And then the key that I actually want to manipulate the value for is called Abort Read Only Top Docs. To make the change in the value that I need to, I'll right click and select Modify and change the value from 0 to 1. I'll click OK, close the registry, and now I've made that change. So the next time I use SOLIDWORKS, it will eliminate that behavior of prompting to save read-only documents altogether, or at least as much as is possible. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.